Hi everyone, this is Mrs. V Chan. Welcome to my Form 2 Math lesson number 19. Today is 5th of September 2020. Okay, so today's lesson is about index notation. So here I have some examples for you. Now this is to use index notation to represent each of the following. All right, are you ready? So the first one here we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. How many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that how are we going to show this by using index notation that is same as 2 to the power 6. Okay, so this is the meaning of index notation. All right. Okay, now we come to the second one. Now we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and times 3. So therefore, to show this, using index notation. So how many twos here multiplied by itself? That would be two to the power three. And then three times three is three to the power two. Okay, all right, so next we have this minus four times minus four times minus four like that. So you can see what is the answer? We have minus four using bracket is very important, huh? So we have this one, two, three. So that would be minus four to the power three, right? Okay. One more D. All right. How about this one? X dot x dot y dot y dot y dot and then y. Okay, so what do you think about the dots dot here? Actually, it is same as multiplication. So therefore, this is same as what? X times X, that will be X square, right? X to the power two. And then dot means times. Okay, sometimes we can skip. So that is Y. All right, so how many Y here? One, two, three, four. So I have this to the power four. All right, so sometimes we can skip the dots here in the middle, okay, so x squared y to the power 4 is same as x squared times y to the power 4. Okay, so let me show you more examples about index notation. So here we have a fraction. All right, so on top we have u times u times u, so that will be u to the power 3. All right, so divided by, so v times v times v times v by itself for how many times? Four times, so that will be v to the power four. All right, so this is how we use index notation, all right, to show, to simplify in this way, okay? All right, so next. All right, on top here we have minus s, one, two, three, four, five. So therefore the answer is minus s, to the power five. And then now the denominator, so which is t times t times t by itself, how many times? Three times, so that would be t to the power three. All right, so this is about index notation, okay? All right, so now we come to c. Okay, how do we do that? The answer to this one will be a times a times a, so that will be a to the power 3. And now we come to minus b, so minus b 1, 2, 3, 4. So that will be brackets minus b to the power 4. All right, so therefore let me show you what is meaning of this x times y. Actually, x times y, we can show it in this way, x dot y, which is simply x y so therefore x y simply means x times y so what is the meaning of this a to the power three and then nothing here means a to the power three times minus b to the power four all right next we come to the second part in this question about index notation so now you are given p is equal to three x squared plus y to the power three and then we need to find p the value of p if we are given this part a x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 2 so that I have to do this so p is equal to 3x squared plus y to the power 3 therefore to find p okay so 3 is here I do substitution okay so use bracket is very very important now for x x is 6 so I put 6 here replacing x and then this is y so that I put 2 because y is equal to 2 all right, so to use 
brackets, all right, for substitution. All right, so I'll use calculator to, to work out the value of P. So that would be uh, six squared is 36 times three, and then plus two to the power three, the button is here to the power three, and then I get my answer, which is one, one, six. Okay, so now we come to B. And then this time, given that x is equal to 3, and then y equals to minus 4. Again, we find the value of p, so that I have p, which is 3x squared plus y to the power 3. Okay, so next, we do substitution, so that use brackets for substitution is very, very important. So this time, I put 3 here because x is equal to 3 and then what about y? So y is minus 4. Okay, and now I can get the value for p in this situation which is 3 squared, the button is here, right? Times 3 and then plus. Now this is very important, huh? I need the brackets. So that is minus 4 and then close brackets and to the power 3. So the answer is minus 37. Okay, so how about if I don't use calculator? So what is idea of this? So 3 and then 3 squared plus minus 4 to the power 3. Now what is idea for this one? I need to explain to you. So that will, that will be 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, so look at this. This is a negative one. So that will be minus 4 times minus 4 times minus 4, 3 times. So the whole thing, the value is minus. Okay, so 4 to the power 3. Oops. So 4 to the power 3, So which is minus 64. All right, so therefore I have 27 minus 64. So which is same as minus 64. 37. Okay, so that means something very, very important to this minus. Okay, let's take a look at this situation. So you know one square is always equal to one. That is one times one. But what about minus one or square, which is what? Minus one and then times minus one, it becomes plus, positive. All right, so what about if it is minus one to the power three? So that will be minus 1, minus 1, and then minus 1. Okay, what happened? This is minus 1, all right, which is negative, right? Okay, so therefore, how about minus 1 all square? All right, this time without bracket, which is minus 1. So you can see the one with bracket and no bracket actually totally not the same. So we can say that minus one all square is not the same as minus one square because you can see the bracket is very, very important. All right. Okay, let's do some more practices here. So now we are given B is equal to two R to the power four plus three S to the power three and then given this condition for R and S, so let me rewrite. B is equal to two R to the power four, and then plus three S to the power three. Okay, again, to do substitution, use brackets to avoid careless mistake, and then do it step by step in that way. So R is three, okay, and then S is minus two. Okay, all right, so, you can use calculator right away to get the answer. So what about if I don't use calculator? I do I simplify this step by step. So what is it? That would be three to the power four. So what is it? Three to the power. Okay, use this button to get power four, get answer, and then times two. So that I have 162 here. All right, so what do you think about this minus two? And this is odd number. All right, so the whole thing will be minus. Okay, so that will be minus, and then two to the power three, two to the power three is eight, and then times three. 
Okay, so I have this 24. All right, so I have this 162 minus 24. So the answer is 138. Okay, now this is very, very important. The bracket is very, very important. All right, otherwise your answer will be wrong. Okay, all right, so let's do another one. Okay, this time R is equal to minus 3 and then S is equal to 2. Okay, rewrite the condition given to us. 2R to the power 4 plus 3S to the power 3. Again, use brackets for substitution so that to avoid the careless mistake. So I have minus 3. Okay, so this is 2. Okay, so this is minus, but however, 4 is even number, so the whole thing will be positive. All right, so I can ignore this minus. So 3 to the power 4, okay, is 81 times 2, so that I have 162. And this is all plus, so plus what? 2 to the power 3 is 8 times 3, so 24, so that I have 162, 24 plus 162. Two, so which is 186 all right so do one more okay now r is minus one uh, minus one over two and then s is equal to minus one okay negative one all right so b is two all right to the power four now again use brackets for substitution is which is very very important okay so i have two oh, what do i put inside so which is one over two and minus one plus three and then minus one right now since four and this is negative it doesn't matter because whenever we have this even number the whole thing will be positive right so i have this all right so what is it this is two to the power four like that okay therefore now be careful about this since i have a bracket here for minus and this is to the power three which is a negative one so the whole thing will be minus three right because what is this it is equal to minus one okay so be careful all right so we use bracket to avoid careless mistake all right so what is it here so therefore i have two here, this is 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times. The idea is like that. So I have this 2 and 2 cancel out. Therefore, what is it? So 1 over 8 minus 3. All right, so how, how do we combine them together? So we have this 8 and this is 1 minus, this is also 8. Okay, so 3 and then 24 on top, so the whole answer will be minus 8, so that is 23. Okay, so that's all about the second part. We do substitution to find the value, and then in this chapter, what is this chapter again? This chapter is about index notation, okay, all right. So thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.